This is Monday's Hip Hop class, 7 to 7.30 with Miss Amy. It is the puppy dog class. First thing you want to do is take your white sequins. You're going to put them inside this middle collar bib section as shown. They're about one to two inches apart. Spread them out one to two inches apart as shown. Take a few of your white sequins, put them on the hair piece. See, they're puppy dog ears. Put them, separate them around as shown. Looks like she used eight white sequins on both sides. So spread eight white sequins on both sides of the ears as shown. So, so far you've done white sequins on the ears and on your bib. From there, you're going to take your white sequins and do them on the, the plain part of the back here. If you look, they made a pattern. See how they went uh, here, middle, here. So see how there's a pattern there? Try to use the same pattern. So it's like they went here, here, middle, here, here, middle, here, here, middle. So try to use semi the same pattern. They're about one to two inches apart all the way on that white part of the costume. After that, take all of your white sequins that you have left and scatter them throughout the actual costume. If you look closely, they're about two to three inches apart. Yes, she did them on the top here. Everywhere the Dalmatian pattern is, there's white sequins in there if you look close enough. That's what you do with all your white sequins. Now you're going to take your red sequins. On the red sequins, you put them on the top collar as shown. Front, all the way to where it meets that the clasp in the back. Red sequins. Next, take your red sequins on the back of the costume. Put them on this bow as shown. They're about one to two inches apart on the bow. Once you finish the bow, you are going to need to tack it down. See, they tacked it down so it doesn't flap all around. What that means is you can either take a safety pin and go inside the costume and safety pin it. You may also use a tag gun like they did. You may also hand stitch it, but you need to tack down your bow so that it lays flat and pretty like this and it isn't scrunched up. Take your red sequins and continue the costume. So, so far red sequins have gone on here and the bow in the back. Now take your red sequins and do down here on this bottom rib ribbon, up, down, up, down, all the way around, about one to two inches apart, all the way around, front and back. Take your red sequins, put them on the bow of the costume as shown. It looks like she did three on each side, one, two, three, one in the middle, one, two, three. Same on this side, one, two, three, one in the middle, one, two, three. That's all your red sequins. So red sequins go on your hair, on your headpiece, bows. Red sequins go down here on the very bottom. They go up here, and they go on the back, on the big bow. And of course, you continue going all the way around the bottom. The only place your red sequins did not go is right here on the bib. Do not put red sequins on the bib. From there, take your black sequins. Put one on each little black spot on this bigger black spot. You don't have to do all the skinny black spots on the hair piece. From there, take them and put one on each big black spot of the Dalmatian spots. So notice she didn't really put any on the skinny, just the big. If you have any questions, contact us at the studio Mondays, Tuesdays, or Thursdays. This is the front of the costume when finished. This is the back of the costume when finished. This is the hair piece.